What's up guys, Vivi Chan here. Hope you guys are doing well. So today we are going to continue with My Hero Academia Season 6 Episode 136 Deku versus Class A. It's about to go down. Like, Deku, what are you doing? Everyone's here for you to rescue you. So let's jump in. I'm so excited. Because they worry about you. Oh, <laughs> You're doing the same thing what Ida did in the uh, second season. But you know, I guess the stress, the, the fear is so strong. Yeah. It's to protect his friends. <laughs> I love when Bakugo laughs. I know, you have the scariest face ever, Deku. Yeah, and someone pointed out he had to use the black whip to like stand, help him, support him. Yeah. Like if he was at like full health, maybe he could take on everyone. But at the current moment, nah, everyone is so urged to bring you back. Let's go. <laughs> I wonder if class 1B is like, did you guys forget about us? <laughs> Do -do -do -do. <sighs> All right, I tried to wake up earlier, but like part of me was like, I don't want to get out of bed. I even try to sleep early. I guess 11 p.m. is early for me, but I still couldn't exactly wake up like at 2 a.m. I don't know I wanted to wake up at like maybe 7 a.m. or something but pacific standard time that is but uh, it's too hard. The easiest way would be just to stay up for three extra hours until 2 a.m. but I can't do it. It's uh I I'm gonna not be able to think when I'm uh trying to watch. So morning it is. Oh, so they were already showing the heroes, but I didn't know they were fighting Deku, you know? Oh, I can't wait for him to get saved. Like, Deku has to be having a huge smile on his face at the end of this episode. He has to, like, burst into tears, you know? He has to feel the relief. He has to see the sun shining on his face and be like, we gotta do this together. The friendship, power of friendship. <laughs> ah, Deku. I love Bakugos in the front. And all oh my in the back. The civilized. Right? I told you. It's just like Ida in season two. Yeah, you forget your own words, Deku. Yeah. If all for one were to come right now, Deku, you'd be screwed because you're so out of health. Yeah. At least you could have taken the bento from last episode. Mm-hmm. It's going to take all of their efforts to stop them. <laughs> yeah, like, first, throw a bunch of insults. Is that... Yeah, see, Deku's like, thank you. Oh, they got all the Quirk's info. Blow it away. <laughs> Hell to the no, says Bakugo. <laughs> oh, it's been a while since I've seen Sato. No, 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 Koda. I always mix up Sato and Koda. <laughs> I didn't even know that thing was physical. I don't know. I thought the Black Whip was like a special thing you couldn't. Hmm. The afro hair returns. Ah, uh, but since he trained with them, he must have known. Oh, she even put in the speakers. 
Everyone is telling him, you know, all the good stuff so he'll come back. <laughs> I guess they could add a little flashback for each episode. <laughs> it's like half recap. No, but you're in danger. We won't forgive ourselves. They're like, he'll survive. <laughs> ah, threatening with all oh, the color for the candy apple, Eddie. Wow, he's super depressed, man. He's more dark than darkness. Damn, Yamamo! I was like, what the heck did they get from the uh, prison? Yeah, because I thought that looked the same thing as what All For One had. Fry him up! He's building up. Damn, he still got away. I thought it would like stop a little bit, but damn. Damn, he's like crying inside. He's like, stop guys, just let me go. Uraraka, Uraraka. Haven't been activated yet. No, you're not. Daijabu night. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Oh my god, you guys, you guys are killing me. I am a heart. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, the baddie? Oh, I kind of want Kitty Shima and Dub to go in. Yeah, go, go, go. He needs his friends and end of her nose. <laughs> He doesn't want to see a friend die. <sighs> Run! What made me fall for you? <laughs> I know that very first season that got me right after they did the whirlpool thing in the water. <laughs> it's kicking the air. Oh my god. They managed to make a small railway. <laughs> make him fly. It's gotta be those two, his closest friend during the internship. No, it's gotta be back ago. You just wanna be there. <laughs> and if it sticks to Deku, he might not get away because the ad said, no. Oh, Ida, 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 Ida! I didn't even know Ida was there! Each show the press gonna do it! We connected! I pushed ahead. He needs a hug. He needs to cry and smile. Yeah, because Ida was in the same place. Like this, they need to prove to him that they're strong enough. Ah, uh, don't let the word run back to them. <laughs> Me and Nakakoi are also cool. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> oh my god, they changed his name to the Great Explosion. All right. He's out of energy. <laughs> oh my god, can you show up? Oh god! <laughs> Damn, man! Man, someone's gotta like, ah, uh, Bakugo yell at him. Oh my god, it's a confession. Heart to heart. But you made friends. Wow, he bowed. He apologized. He poured his heart out. He was not even angry or yelling. He's appreciative of what Izuku has given him. <laughs> wow. If he offers a bantel, that'd be, you know, the icing on the cake. <laughs> Depend on us, you know. Let's do it together. We need to save you. Okay, rest assured in Bakugo's arms. <laughs> oh, what a beautiful episode. <laughs> I didn't imagine like a Bishonen under there. <laughs> what? That's what 13 looks like. I thought his head was the astronaut.
Damn, this is the new UA with all the security and everything. Wow. The walls have been built. Yeah. Yeah, there's many layers of protection, I bet. Yeah, it's been a few weeks, I assume, so. No, stop that. You're already here. Wait, are the people cheering for him to come back? Wait, what? Oh, the principal. Well, guys, you're going to have to accept it because we're keeping this boy. We edit. There has to be an after credit scene. I'm not even going to check. There has to be. I, I broke this episode. This episode was too amazing. Ah! <laughs> oh, my gosh. Wow, this episode was just butt full of like the best uh, moments of uh, Izuku and friends throughout the five, six series seasons. I love the ending. Is yeah, literally all his friends bring him back because that's what he needs. And even when the people are rejecting him, my heart broke. Honestly, <laughs> I feel like with this series, I have so much love for her because I feel like it's the successor to Naruto <laughs> after like. Oh, no, not for ends anime wise 2017 this came out about that time and i feel like it filled that vo i don't know like i love the classmates i love the teamwork i love yeah the story the people Man, these are some great people. Damn, just a preview. Aizawa's gotta say something. Yeah, it's gonna be hard, but we're gonna try to change a young woman's Oh, Danica's fighting for you, girl, man. Pluto's Ultra is back. <laughs> this episode. <sighs> oh my gosh, this episode is so wholesome. I, my heart broke for these characters. Like I say every single time, I feel for these characters. I, I, I don't know, like to me, I feel like after Naruto and like I said earlier, I feel like after Naruto ended, like, this show kind of, like, filled the void that Naruto left. So, you know, I really, yeah, I really enjoy how these characters are so, they care about each other, but there's, like, a human factor to them. At the very end, you know, how all the people were just like, no, shut him out, don't you bring a bomb in, he's the boy that Shigaraki is looking for, like, don't bring him in. I totally thought, wow, everyone is welcoming, welcoming him back. But no, it's total opposite. And he just felt so dejected. Like, that's the reality. He, like, knew that. And he, like, walked out. But Uranaka grabbed his hand. Like, she's like, you know, I can I can help you. Let me, let me heal you. Let me, 
let me protect you, man. She, oh, Uraraka, best girl for Deku. You know, there's something about Uraraka. She's got a special connection with. She's got a special connection with the uh, Izuku since since the first season. And uh, man, it's just so wholesome to see to see everyone try to bring him back. Oh my God, Bakugo's apology, man. It was so powerful and it moved me. There's stuff in the past, like even me. I remember. I was mean to this one girl and like recently I got to reconcile with her and uh, it's just a great, you know, she's already moved on but I've like, I've thought about, I've thought about her for like 10 years and then recently I just reached out and uh, you know, it's just a good feeling. I could tell her my feelings, I'd be like mean at the, <laughs> I don't know, I, I wouldn't say like I fell for you or anything. In a way, I kind of feel like Bakuga, I have so much like pent up anger inside but I'm, I'm not able to show it so like seeing bakugo apologize and explaining his feelings like you know back then it was weird you're quirkless i'm powerful yet you felt so much so much more like a hero well he didn't say that but like there was a feeling that deku is always like selfless like he just jumped into the water to save him and he was always and bakugo was just always jealous of that that's like a natural hero instinct now that he's able to did it and i love how calm he was he was no yelling he was not i mean yeah there's a little bit of jealousy but he poured his poured his emotion into this he was he was very sincere about his feelings oh my god ida as well he's like you were the one who saved me back in season two with stain and he had to be the one to finally catch izuku because one he's the class president and then two because uh you know you want to have the person who can understand him the most the person who also did the same thing catch him and kirishima at the end Uda. man all these people like you know there's some key friends all of class 1a is his friends but there's some like at least at least seven or eight of them is like more close to Izuku that had like a big huge impact on Ida, Uraraka, Bakugo. Ah man and they definitely got to see how strong Deku was and they're just like they're up for the challenge we're we're ready to bring you back. Yep yeah and ever and ever approves of this plan he knows what Deku needs at this very moment so like go friends go <laughs> i mean it though i fell for you bakugo didn't even care about his hair getting mixed up i wonder if he'll be more calm now because at the very beginning you know he was so hot-headed but now he's got he's a bit more matured now i love his character like out of everyone i loved his character development the most right and then they made a connection and it's just so beautiful to see like izuku hasn't totally not like oh it's finally over I, like you know there's still a little bit like it, maybe it needs another one maybe the last episode of this season for him to finally you know accept them back because right now he's too weak to even do anything he's just like he just admit they're not as weak as he thinks they are but he still has a bit of doubt and his doubt is realized at the end but you know seeing what Uraraka and them are willing to fight for him I hope I hope I like I wish the best for Deku like the poor baby is just in the rain dying and everyone is just like screw him and, oh, my heart is dying for him I know it's like oh man I feel like the last couple episodes I've watched like not just not just my hero but just like other anime so I'm like crying like everything moves me I'm just an emotional e e emotional wreck man <laughs> Man, I love anime. I love My Hero Academia. <sighs> My goodness. I, I hope I can be early. I want to be... I think the only time I was early was the very first episode. I think I woke up about 5, 6 a.m. Pacific Standard. Like, if I can do for the next one, I hope. Because I think there's like two episodes left this season. I'm not ready for it to end. I, I'm so... I really want to just jump into the manga already. I want to know, man. But it's not the same, you know? You want to watch it with the music and the visuals and like the heart, man. The heart of this anime moves me. I guess... Oh, wait. Before we end it, I, I guess like the principal told all of the people about Deku. Because like, I thought it was like top secret. Like maybe they do not know he has one for all, but they do know that He's a boy shigaraki. I don't know. Maybe it's all like in the paper. Someone revealed it. I don't know, but uh, we'll have to see. Uh, we'll, we'll have to see more for next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free to leave me comments and thoughts. What you think about this episode? Did it break you? Because it definitely broke me. <sighs> yeah, like like they could have happy times, sad times, 
I'm all, I, I just have, I always, I'll always have tears for them. <laughs> uh, yeah. So see you for the next one. Peace out.